Hello and welcome to a discussion on how transactions change the balance sheet. After viewing this video, you will be able to explain how the balance sheet begins, state the accounting equation and explain why it must remain in balance, and explain how transactions change the balance sheet. The balance sheet begins when the company gets cash to finance the business. Cash comes from either borrowing money, which is called notes payable, or long-term debt or from investors, which is called common stock. The balance sheet begins with an increase to the asset cash and an increase in either one or both of a liability or common stock. The cash is then used to purchase assets such as prepaid insurance, supplies, inventory, equipment, patents, etc cash decreases and the other assets increase. Inventory is often purchased on account which creates the liability accounts payable. The company is now ready to provide goods, to receive services, and use assets to provide goods to customers. The accounting equation must always stay in balance. If you have something, you either owe for it or you own it. Assets must always equal liabilities plus owner's equity. There are five common business transactions that change the balance sheet. The first transaction that generally happens is cash is received from investors. This allows the company to use the cash to buy other assets. Assets can also be traded for other assets, such as a truck for equipment. An asset can be purchased on account or with a notes payable and payment will be made later. Cash then is also used to reduce what is owed on accounts payable or notes payable. The accountant tracks the items and amounts reported on the balance sheet as transactions occur. The answers to three questions will tell the accountant what is changing on the balance sheet. Having more or less of an item with a future benefit will change an asset. Owing more or less will change a liability. An exchange directly with owners will change owner's equity. Let's go through a few transactions and determine how each transaction will change the balance sheet while we use the three questions. The company sold 100 shares of common stock for a total of $200,000 to finance the company. The answer to the first question is more cash, because cash will increase. The answer to the second question is there was no change to what is owed. The answer to the third question is yes, the owner receives stock in the company. Cash will increase and common stock will increase on the balance sheet. Let's talk through another example. The company paid $6,000 for rent for the first three months for the warehouse and office facility. This transaction is an exchange of one asset for another. Cash will decrease and prepaid rent will increase. The answer to the second question is there was no change to what is owed. The answer to the third question is also no. There was no transaction directly with the owners. Cash will be lower and prepaid rent will be higher on the balance sheet. Let's talk another example. The company bought warehouse equipment for 50,000 cash and expected it to be used for seven years. This transaction is also an exchange of one asset for another. Cash will decrease and warehouse equipment will increase. There is no change to what is owed since cash was paid and there was no transaction directly with the owners. Cash will be lower and property plant and equipment, warehouse equipment, will be higher on the balance sheet. This company bought supplies for $800 cash. This transaction is also an exchange of one asset for another. Cash will decrease and supplies will increase. There was no change in what is owed since cash was paid, and there was no transaction directly with the owners. Cash will be lower, and supplies will be higher on the balance sheet. The company purchased goods to sell to customers on account. 
Cash is not paid when the goods are purchased on account. The company has more inventory and also owes more. Inventory will increase and accounts payable, a liability, will increase also. There is no transaction directly with the owners. Let's take a different approach and look at a balance sheet and identify the transactions that have occurred to date. Start on the right side, since the right side tells you where the company got their funds for the left side. The notes payable indicates the company borrowed $50,000 from the bank and the common stock indicates that the company received $100,000 from investors. Cash was initially increased by $150,000. The company then took $15,000 and purchased $10,000 of equipment and $5,000 of computer equipment. The company has $150,000 in assets, owes $50,000, and owns $100,000 of it. The balance sheet stays in balance as these transactions occur. Let's look at another balance sheet and the, determine the transactions that have occurred today. First, look to see where the company raised their funds from. Look for long-term debt or long-term payable or common stock. The 100000 in common stock indicates that 100000 was received from investors. Now move to the left side of the balance sheet and see what the company has and determine if cash was paid for assets or not. Prepaid means that 6000 rent was paid for ahead of time. That leaves 94000 in cash, which means inventory was not paid for when it was repurchased. There should be a liability, accounts payable. The company owes 20000 on account for the inventory purchased. After viewing this video, you should be able to explain how the balance sheet begins, state the accounting equation and explain why it must remain in balance and explain how transactions change the balance sheet. Log on to studymyaccounting.com and view the practice as you learn examples for each of the concepts we've discussed. Work the practice test to verify your understanding, write out the answers and check your answers to the answers and explanations provided. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is much appreciated.